Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Forza Horizon 5, taking a look at the new expansion here on the wheel. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, I'll find the description box below. Let's get to it. So we are here on the first impression of of the rally stages and we do have the my oh, we're gonna go in manual mode we do have my fantech club sport v2.5 back out because we've been having some connection issues with my moza wheels here on horizon 5 we need to uh sort that out but we are back on fantech for this episode with the moza handbrake and shifter just to see how this actually goes Oh man. Oh! We got help. The horizon is in the dirt. I can't see because of the helicopter. Into jump, maybe? Okay. Can't see. Oh, super sketchy. The sand right. is making this really uncontrollable. We're cutting over three dunes here. Find the jump. Medium left. And surface. Which I wouldn't known that was the term prior. I think we may have missed that checkpoint. Yep. Dang it. <laughs> the sand makes this extremely uncontrollable. It's something about Horizon that I haven't noticed from ever. The force feedback and the way cars react in sand or dirt is not always the greatest. Yep, like that. Not always the best, so it's definitely totally different. But it's kind of cool to have Easy right. a co-driver. Okay, scouting again. Crash the gates into a jump. Double caution on the water landing. Then hard left in the cement carrier, and we'll be back on the route. Oh. And there's the road. But overall, not doing Easy right. too bad. This we could be doing way worse right now. Right. Oh, yeah, we can't go through that. As I say, we're not doing too bad. We kind of uh, go right into a box. We're right. Our drone shows up. Medium right, followed by medium left. Medium right. A lot of shifting in this rally. I mean, I was kind of behind them, but you know, it works. The overall first impressions of it, it's very weird with the force feedback, but back on the V2.5 non-direct drive, it's totally different feeling than the, my direct drive wheels. So it's something I gotta get reacclimated with, with the way that feels. Gonna be trying this on a Assetto and going back to seeing if this wheel's still viable for me, you know, back and forth and comparing them. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media if you want to catch that. Make sure you tap and subscribe. I would appreciate the support. If you guys want to see this wheel take back to a set of Corsa. Me too. I mean, I hope so. We're just going to go full send. I didn't need downshift there. Two bumps. Easy left. Easy right. Airplane right. The one thing right. that I do like is the pace notes. It's very uh, 
Colin McRae and, you know, Dirt Rally style S. These hard lefts are not really that hard of a left. Time, but that doesn't mean you can slow down. Puck is ticking on every checkpoint, superstar. Pick it up. Puck into hard right. Medium left. Then medium right. Hard right. Onto bridge. Hard right. Into medium left. Trying to stay focused and listen left. to my face notes. Then easy right. Apparently the hairpins are force gear hairpins. Right. Oh, that stage up there looks definitely uh, interesting. Right. Probably uh, be doing this almost in cockpit view. Probably be running it way better. May do that in another episode. I do like that this is all basically right. did I miss that right. no oh I thought oops I need to go further back uh rewind further we needed to uh I thought we were able to get that but apparently Easy right. we just missed it I would be much faster in this if I was running this in, say, paddles, but... But we're still up there when it comes to speed. We're back up in first, after the first uh, mix-up on stage. We got this. Force right. feedback actually feels quite nice right. on the uh, on the pavement Medium sections. Hard right. It always felt good on pavement. It was when it was Medium on dirt, right. which made it feel very weird. And I was hoping they may have fixed that in this right. rally expansion, but Easy right. they have not. Now, all the way locked up on the dirt. It is definitely very left. different. Easy left. Being right. back here on easy my right. Fanatec wheel. Easy left. Inside of this car looks so nice. So, overall impressions, it's actually very fun. Probably gonna do another race, but we're gonna do it in first person because that's where I'd be driving in, say, a rally game or any other games like that. So we did beat everybody. Huh, noise. Head to the next race and see where we're at. Yep, there we go. We're gonna drive right to it. So now we're gonna be doing some off-road dirt here and we're, this is where the feedback is where I said I used to have a problem with where it would be very slippery and not feel very, very good. So we're gonna see if they fully fix that or if it still feels the same. We're gonna run this one in first person. This is a sprint. Tight corners with plenty of gravel, jumps, dips, and lots of off-cambered sections. Cool. Good clean fun. All right, good clean fun. Five, four, three, Do it. two, Airpin left. Medium right. Now Medium old right. Paul. So far it's not Medium terrible, left. but the thing is we are in a buggy which is not very fast. It does not feel Medium like left. Medium right. And of course, you know, the first person in 
Forza with the wheel only doing 90 degrees is definitely a big pet peeve and something about a set of courses that I absolutely love. Medium left. You're making excellent time here. Don't let up. I got to let up. Then hairpin right. Oh no! Did not have pulled the handbrake there. Uh, hard left. Did you just stutter and say, uh, hard left? Okay. Hard Wish right. I would have had the uh, focus back for this rally stage. But this one's not doing too, too bad. Left. Crest. I Take do feel like right. I drive a little faster in first person. But that's just normal when it comes to being used to racing games and things of that nature. Medium left, into crest. Medium right. Medium right. Jump. Medium left. This isn't really a jump. Medium left. I'm not getting any no cuts. We're trying to cut the crest. course as much as possible. Jump, baby. Right. Learn from Medium my prior left. mistake, don't pull the handbrake. More so just a straight right. second gear down. Crest. So definitely having a lot of fun here on Forza Horizon Medium 5 left. in the rally expansion. I hope that pull gets pulled. <laughs> if you guys want to keep seeing more here on Easy the right. channel, make sure you guys follow me down in the description box below. Right. I'll be trying to get my uh, most of the stuff to Crest. calibrate correctly here into the game. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can't talk easy to right. them and see if find it's about a better way to connect it rather than all the V-joys and everything like that because my uh, Fate Horizon uh, base Crest. option jump, does not really work too well in the Pit House app, so going to be seeing what right. I can do with that. It's definitely having a lot of fun. Let me know down below if you guys are playing the Rally expansion. Are you enjoying it? Are you not liking it? Do you wish Forza would probably fix the feedback when it comes to uh, dirt? It doesn't feel too bad in this buggy, but I bet you if we had a car, it would probably feel quite very loose. So, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.